Underworld is the fifth serial of the 15th season of the British science fiction television series Doctor Who, which was first broadcast in four weekly parts on BBC One from 7 to 28 January 1978. In the serial, the crew of an alien Mignon spaceship go on a 100,000-year quest in search of a ship containing a genetic bank that would restore the Minion species. Topic. Plot In the history of the Time Lords, their involvement with the Minyons of Minyos is regarded as a disaster. The Minyons looked on them as gods but, having learned much from their science, later expelled the Time Lords who thereafter adopted a policy of non-intervention. The Minyons resented the Time Lords for their dominion over Minyos. Subsequently, the Minyans engaged in a civil war, using the advanced weapons the Time Lords gave them. In the final conflict, the Minyans destroyed their world. Two ships left Minyos before the final conflict, one carrying the race bank of the Minyans, the other intended to find the race bank and bring the Minyans to a new homeworld, Minyos II. The Minyan civilization retained some Time Lord gifts, including cellular rejuvenation and the use of pacifier guns to alter the mental state of the aggressor. At the edge of the expanding universe, the TARDIS materializes on a Minyan ship, the R1C. The Fourth Doctor, Leela and K9 visit the bridge of the spaceship. The crew of four, Jackson, Herrick, Orfe and Tala, are on a quest the quest is the quest that has taken many millennia and they have rejuvenated many times. Their aim is to find the missing ship the P-7E, which disappeared en route to Minyos II while carrying the genetic race banks of the entire species. They have, however, finally traced the P-7E's signal and head into a spiral nebula to locate the ship. In the process the R1C is nearly destroyed, and is almost transformed into the core of a planetoid as small space rocks are attracted to it. A similar fate actually seems to have happened to the P7E, which is found at the center of a small planet. The R1C crashes into this planet. Civilization on the P7E planetoid has taken a curious turn. Most of the population live as slaves digging rock for fuel and sustenance, but they are culled and killed in rock collapses called skyfalls. This situation is overseen by guards who are in turn responsible to two robots called seers. In overall control is the Oracle, a powerful supercomputer which has shaped the perverse society. Evidently the P-7E became trapped in the planet millennia earlier and the entire basis of the mission was lost over time. The Doctor and Leela encounter Idas, a young man nearly killed in a skyfall, learning how the local population is managed and terrorized. The Seers and Oracle exist in a protected citadel at the heart of the planetoid, clearly the P-7E, and the Doctor, Leela and Ida's venture there, in the process rescuing Ida's father I.D. Mon who was due to be sacrificed to the Oracle. Other slaves are freed too, and flee to the R1C where Jackson makes them welcome. However, the crucial race banks remain in the control of the Oracle. The Doctor, Leela, and Ida's venture to the Citadel again to get the precious cargo. However, the Seers have meanwhile captured Herrick and give him what he thinks are the two race banks to take back to his ship. Jackson, Orfe and Tala are overjoyed, little realizing that their friend has actually brought fission bombs back to the R1C. The Doctor has meanwhile made it to the core of the Citadel and confronted the Oracle. He succeeds in locating and stealing the real race banks and then heads off with Leela and Idas to get back to the probe ship. The guards try but fail to defeat their flight. The doctor gives the real race banks to Jackson, and then takes the fakes out of the craft. Idas takes advantage of the situation to round up the other slaves or trogs and lead them to the safety of the R1C, while the doctor engineers the fission grenades that are returned to the Oracle. 
With moments to spare, the R1C blasts away, loaded with the slaves and the race banks, and is pushed outward from the planetoid by the explosion of the fission grenades. The TARDIS crew depart, wishing the Minyans well as they journey on to Minyos II, their quest complete. Topic. Production Underworld was recorded entirely in studio in October 1977. In an attempt to save money on production costs, the serial was recorded using the color separation overlay CSO technique. This approach involves recording the actors against a blue screen, and then superimposing them on models of the sets, thus saving on the costs involved in set construction. Topic. Background The serial borrows many elements and parallels from Greek mythology, in much the same way as the later The Horns of Nymon. In particular, the story draws on the tale of Jason and the Argonauts. References include the Minyan race related to the Minoans, the search for P7E, Persephone, and character names such as Jackson, Jason, Orfe, Orpheus, Herak, Heracles, Tala, Talus, Id Mon and Idas. The connection is highlighted at the end of the episode, with the Doctor likening Jackson and his journey to Jason and his quest for the Golden Fleece. Topic. Broadcast and reception Paul Cornell, Martin Day, and Keith Topping wrote of the serial in The Discontinuity Guide 1995. The direction is a bit lazy, and the design could be better. The plot settles down to be dullish, but much more worthy than its reputation would suggest. The CSO's not that bad, either. In the Television Companion 1998, David J. Howe and Stephen James Walker noted the bad reputation the serial had, but felt that it was better than that and a good example of the era. He praised the extra level the story takes by offering comparisons to Greek mythology, as well as the model work and CSO. In 2010, Patrick Mulkern of Radio Times panned the story and its vapid characterization, dodgy science and a dearth of anything dramatically engaging. While he liked some scenes and also found the visual effects good, he did not feel that compensated for the unengaging story and lack of comedic direction. Topic. Commercial releases Topic. In print A novelization of this serial, written by Terence Dix, was published by Target Books in January 1980 under the title Doctor Who and the Underworld. The novelization opens with a lengthy history of the Mignons and the P7E. Topic. Home media Underworld was released on VHS in March 2002. It was released on the U.S. iTunes Store in August 2008. The story was released on 29 March 2010 in a DVD box set called Myths and Legends, along with the third Doctor serial The Time Monster and the fourth Doctor serial The Horns of Nyman. It was released individually in Region 1 on 7 July 2010.